The game four now of Nigma versus Secret. What a series we have had so far. Real treat for, for what has been a real treat of a tournament as a whole. The cost, we've seen the draft. That last pick, Slark, certainly has its uh, sort of up, ups and the, the strengths this game. But they do have some potential lane counters that, that Nigma could run against it. They could, yeah. They could put the Razor on the off lane against the, the Slark. Or... Slaughter. Slaughter, yeah. Uh, and they could put the Underlord mid. They've done that before. Have a Razor on the off lane, and Mind Control. Played mid before the Underlord. Yeah, uh, he, yeah. Even though it's not... If they decide to put uh, Razor... Sorry, Troll on mid, it's still going to be okay for Underlord. He will get his farm. Yeah. I mean, I mean all, and, you know, with that Slark as a, as a final <laughs> pick for Secret, what, what does that sort of say to you from uh, what Secret want to do? Is it Prepare is it very much battle. another game where they say, well, Nigma's going to try and push with us 25 minutes in. We're going to do our best to, to make sure that they slip up and get this Slark to the point where he has this BKB. feels pretty indestructible and is able to just carry it to the late game. They wanted to have a hero who can scale into late game if it comes to that, but also a lane where Slark can uh, beat this Underworld. This yeah. beefy hero needs some kind of a counter. I was thinking whether they're going to go for Ursa or Slark. They decided to go for Slark, and uh, they just need to have the lane matchup. They need to be the ones having a better matchup for themselves. Also, it's going to come to that who takes the first throw. You see Slardar, you see Lifestealer. I think it's a great uh, Deso game for him. Like this minus armor combined from these two. Yeah, Bill, that pretty much most of the time Miracle will go for sure. We saw like the, the Maelstrom build up earlier this series, but that was in a game where he was significantly behind and, and felt that he was forced to, to go for sort of that farming item to catch things up. So if all things go to plan, I absolutely would agree with you. There is going to be the chance that Miracle sticks to that, that armlet Deso that he's been you know, just so successful with this tournament. Yeah, one thing they can do is run a try lane for Team Secret, put the Darkseer on the top lane, and he just creep skips. Lifestealer will get the free farm, but uh, the so will Darkseer. Begins. Like, Chen will be the one harassing you, getting a creep, uh, but I don't think that's enough. Gapsor gets the rune. One, two, three for Nigma. Yeah, Nigma taking the advantage on the banner rune pickups. May lose a hero, though. Gapsor, Matsu, and Puppy. They'll look towards Kuro. Kuro. Trying his best to run away. Yep, so I believe still with the spell ready to pop in there. And it's tossed back into first blood for Matsu. Easy agi. And this combo, if they decide to run a trial and you just go backstab, find a toss, and you see Mind Control already preparing to cut the waves. Oh, yeah. He, I mean, he knows, right? He cannot really play that lane against the slot. So over he goes. We'll be able to clear up the first pre-wave before anyone gets here, or at least the, the range group. Both supports are coming across to try and bully mind control away from just having this, this free wave to start the lane off. Gabso and Puppy, they'll do their best to mess with him. We'll see how much damage they can do as they're going to slowly chase him down. Mind control obviously not able to, to go for any sort of deep attempt out. Yeah, there, there's no escape for him. As he has got another Firestorm, he's going to get the second wave in. Will he get it out before he goes? We've got a little bit of damage to the wave. They're going to deny the creep. Gonna, that's, yeah, that's maybe a not Firestorm. Not a good Firestorm. He didn't want to pop. His creeps will be taken away. And I, I, he got the creep wave near his tower. Enigma GH, or the best. And starting to take the tower, he's though, so GH. Careful, and through the aggros. And Zai. We'll be able to soak up those first few creeps unended. But it, it very much it has been a, a this bottom lane. Spine control comes back in and of course the, the creep waves meeting here does have to try and draw them away from Matu. It's not gonna be easy to do so with those two supports. They're gonna constantly be looking for opportunities to allow Matu to get aggressive. Whilst it's very vulnerable offline in the slot matchup. Mid lane is okay for Troll, of course. Uh, Razor has a better matchup, uses that Static Link, some harassment, dealing the damage, but every single time you use Static Link, Whirling Axes slow him down so he does not get the full drain. Zai will be, once again, the stack official off lane. We've seen what uh, he can do even without the farm, but we've also seen what Miracle can do when he has this uh, free farm life, so farming the jungle and the side camp, I mean, side camp and uh, the lane. A bit of an attempt on Tazai there, but couldn't quite get the, the fourth hit off the bash in time before the surge is there. Needs to pull the lane back on the bottom lane, so they have this backstab ability with the tiny back toss, and uh, there's a lot of kill potential if they wrap around and have a lane in a good position, and that's what Puppy does, just pulls the creep wave. I mean, both carries with, with the setup are going to have a great start. Miracle. 
free farming it is. How Matu's going to be able to do the same and maybe he's fine. The others as well. Trying to jump off. Tries to step in. Not a safe place for him to be. These three heroes will kill the Underlord very easily. Do so once again in this lane. It's mid lane, Misha. It's going to be wrapped around on GH coming in for a very early movement. And with the crush, it's the pass too. A good amount of damage building up on the static link. These body blocks as well from GH as well from the plasma field. That will do it. G8 swimming across to the mid lane for an early movement that catches Nisha off guard. Nanzai uses that info, pulls the wave, needs to do something. Not getting too much out of this, but he's 0-0. Zero, zero. Not, the, not the sort of expected start as a dark seer. Not a single CS to be had. There it is, finally he breaks the, the emptiness, the loneliness up top. As he gets that first last hit, fortunate for him, other lanes are going great for his teammates. Bottom lane, another death on Mind Control. They're ruining Mind Control's game. At least he's getting some CS compared to Darks here. I love what they did. They swapped uh, this uh, Slardar on the top lane so that he has the bash and ability to stop any kind of uh, aggressive play from Darks here, skipping the creep wave and having a chance on the bottom lane. I mean, you gotta lose one of those lanes. I mean, and some of this CS difference, it's getting crazy. The, the comparison between the two carries, sure, the kills are there for the Slark down bottom. But top lane, Miracle, 34 CS. The mid lane matchup, 18 to 14 now. We are that kill has just pushed that advantage for him in so much that he is just destroying Nisha. Nisha cannot come close to the wave every single time with that level advantage in the static link. Nisha gets beat back and he's having to slowly sort of catch up, killing neutral creeps. This is not where you want to be as a troll of the L. Slarger's also causing a lot of issues moving between uh, Tier 1 and Tier 2 towers, so he can always backstab uh, the mid lane and uh, put a lot of pressure on the Darkseer so he can't get any far. Darkseer doubled his PS in the last uh, two minutes. Getting at 2 right now. Bouncy Rune State looks to be, again, three Bounty Runes going to Nigma. Take the advantage on the gold. Doing a good job overall on the map, GH. It's going to be up top again, trying to force Zai away from any opportunity of grabbing any sort of creep wave. Zai would gladly go to his jungle, but this is where Troll lives. Now, Secret definitely being starved for resources on the top lane and the mid lane. They just are not places where they have the, the hero composition to, to secure. They are going to try and do something to help out Zai a little bit top. Yeah, so coming in across back, will give him the space to take down the courier. So finding some sort of action up here, Miracle will step forward, start to trade onto Zai, forcing him to run away. Puppy's also headed up. They realize how rough of a time Zai is happening, having up here. They want to try and do something to rectify it. Matu with that start can be left alone. They know that the Slark is fine to just try and get those that, that solo XP, get himself closer to six. But both top lane and mid lane, it feels like Secret, they've got to do something over here as these lanes are going disastrous. Boards are not getting any farm at all from both of these teams. We are over. Yapsil's got to run. Sturt will save him, but now we are to turn towards Zai. Zai, he's saved his support, but he cannot save himself because of it. A free, easy kill for Weeha as he just momentarily steps across. Gee, he's not done. He's looking towards Yapsil, but won't be able to dive any further towards that tier two. But this mid lane for Weeha, that it's entire free farm for him. It's entire free farm for Miracle on this top lane. Razor and Lifestealer are going to be out of control very early this game. They need to bring three heroes to kill Wee on mid. If he gets the static, even if they get the back toss, he'll get the static link on the troll and there's no way you're getting killed. Matthew decided Radiant's to join tower. and uh, end attack. the mind control's life here. I mean, my, yeah, Mind Control's got a little bit of a smile. He, well, uh, yeah, there you go. He's having a, having a bit of fun. He, he knows Radiant's anytime that slog turns up, attack. he's done for. The level advantage, Matthew with the six. There's no escape as a poor old level three Underlord. And different approach from Miracle than what he had in uh, game number two. So he's going for that Desto armlet build, cheap, cost-efficient item on top of Slardar's uh, minus armor. Like, they need to be careful about the Roche. Once he finishes those two items, you lose one hero and suddenly Rosh is gone. Mid lane trying to, to push Weeha back the best he can, but you see it on the net worth. It really is the state of the game at the moment where Nigma, they just have these two cores in a dream spot. Matu, he's in a great place, but there's 
Two cores of secret that have a lot of catching up to do. Both Nisha and Zai. Zai is that bottom net worth right now as does Darks here. Massive substitute of the killing spree up top. We see them get the pick off back towards mid. We are also diving in again, able to kill off Nisha. It's been Can Can Matthew do enough this game to rectify the fault that Nisha and Zai have? He They're has two cores that he uses. Matu has got to carry this game harder than he's ever carried before. One more hit, we'll do the trick. He's 4-0-3. Permanent charges already, that's a lot. Building that Diffusal Blade, it will cripple Thunderlord and Lifestealer. But as I say, he's got to carry phenomenally. It's eight minutes in, his offlaner is bottom net worth. If he manages to carry them, someone will need to check his spot. We're gonna need to get him some uh, serious massage therapy after this one. If it is going to be the case, as Nigma, <laughs> up. Yeah, he's just messing. He with had him. enough. Matt is going to turn and have a poke back. Not something he can commit for, though. As GH has got friends. Both Kuro and Mike Troll are around. Puppy will take it up on himself to go for it. GH won't get in this time to cancel the channeling as they do manage to take back that outpost as we get closer towards the 10 minute mark. Can we switch back quickly to the S board to see how many. Radius middle tower got. under attack. 14, all right, that's a lot. Slaughter has been causing a lot of issues, but uh, he has zero CS. It's one of those positions for not Radiant's have any ways of farming, so he needs to either stack or get a kill. Men, they're gonna try to play on Weha and Quickstone 4 gets them the opportunity to toss him back. They're looking to burst down Weha with a terrified pop. He does get rid of can they save him? Weha still alive. The thought he got, it. got him. Big kill for Puppy, up against the four of Nigma, gets him with the purifying flames to take Weeha down. Surge will cause a lot of issues in the mid game. They are lacking Radiant control. Larder is the one, plus the bit of Malice. But that's gonna be enough. Also, they have Radiant's the Razor that's building uh, the Yule Center, so that's gonna be a big one. The Dispel and the uh, ability to set things up. But he's lost another tower. Fallen. Very early movements Dyer's from Nigma. Miracle with attack. this incredible armlet timing. Because of the such a free lane he had down bottom, Matu. Got to get away from this. Trying to get around so he can pounce out, but GH is blocking him off. The Shadow Dance movement speed will allow Matu to jump away. GH is going to continue to chase and mess around with him. Matu trying to stay out of vision to start benefiting from the regen. A TP is going to come down to make sure that he is safe as Puppy's here. Maybe Matu could look to try and turn. He trades back on to GH. Another crush holds him down, but the root's there for Puppy. He absolutely hit with the wraparound team. GH will not escape. As Matu, his killing streak continues. I think Secret at this point, they re realize they've got to do everything to just propel this Slark's game to another level. He is the one to carry them right now, as both Nisha and Zai, they just have not had a game so far. When GH uh, played uh, yesterday against the Alchemist, he did the same thing, just following the heroes. So he can't farm if he didn't uh, give this kill to Slark, it would be so much work because he's not getting any farm out of the lane. You're just forcing him uh, to do stupid stuff in his own jungle, running away from you. Troll, did you see the item that he goes for? Nisha, he's outside a box. Over edge, he wants to be able to break the life stealer, Underlord, Razor. Okay. Even Slaughter, there's a lot of things to break. I mean, do you like it? Do you feel if you're behind as a troll, this is sort of Nisha trying to do the big brain play and think how he can best have some sort of an impact as a teammate? I wouldn't mind seeing uh, maybe a Maelstrom just to speed things up, Radiant's but uh, then always uh, under attack. BKB will be delayed because you're playing greedy. Oh, smoke up from Secret. Looking to enable some action. This time, Zai also joining Radiant's the two supports to help out Matu find attack. more blood down on the bottom half of the map. Yeah, still looking for the lead in his third four. Gets a chance to cross back. They'll catch out GH. Another kill fed into the mouth of Slark. 6 0 3. Matu. All a secret standing on his shoulders right now. As Nigma, they have the resources spread perfectly between their safe lane and mid lane. Miracle. They finish this Tesso in a thousand gold. They yep. go straight into Roche Pit with the Slardar. This is how they've been playing for the last few days. Get that Aegis online and go for tier three towers at 20, 25 minute mark. Yeah, they're in their element right now, Enigma. This is exactly, I mean, this is better, I feel, than how they could have hoped for the game to go. They have got off to such a good start here in game four. And those objectives, they're, they're going to sort of take themselves with, with the lineup they have. Secret's got to build towards some way that they can get Matu 
getting things done really elsewhere on the map. The bottom lane's been secured. That whole area is great for them. I believe his defusal should shortly be done. It's done. It's done. So this will give them the damage. Uh, Underlord kind of recovered. He's as same amount of farm as Troll at the moment. That's the difference. You okay, have nice. this uh, Firestorm, which uh, increases your farming ability, especially when you have uh, four points in it. They need to be ready for that, Roche. They have no Vision Hero, but they have a Surge. No points in Vol at the moment. He should definitely get one. Just dropping the ball. Well, not like that. Casually hit. A miracle. He's into the creep. Hatu has come across, but with a quick rage and a TP miracle note, there is nothing to cancel it through the BKB, well, the, the magic immunity. That was a tough kill uh, to get. He can always just TP out. You can't uh, stun him when the rage is ready. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Space for Nygma to, to clean up what's going to be a, a third tier one tower here. 13 Dyer's minutes in. Is under they are taking Dyer's over control of the map. Secret really Radiant being forced into a position where they've got to think incredibly active with the plays they make. Every move they make around the map with Radiant's Matumba Man, it has to be flawless. Attack. So they kill us in four tier one tower. Set up from Razor. Straight into the stun combo and with the corrosive haze, they can find kills so easily now. GH being level six just enables these hard right-clicking carries of his to clean up heroes in a matter of seconds. Secrets will need to dodge the fight. If they can get a kill, not on the life stealer. This is what you can try to do. Let's see if Trolls. He, he's come out quite far and, and he doesn't have TP available. It's still on court after 15 seconds. He needs backup. It's heading over. They're going to be able to get there in time. Kill. I don't think they are. The root's up and they'll kill him off. Another kill added to the tally of Matumba Man. As we are and GH just cannot get in to punish them in return. He should be more careful about not having TP ready because there's no items that uh, or abilities that go through Rage TP at the moment. Radiance top tower is under attack. As long as he has it, it is the perfect counter play. 15 minute runes. Again, this time it's even better for Nigma. They they pick up at least the three of them. Okay, Secret will get one. It's it's the same. They're both five, ten, and fifteen minute marks. Enigma have claimed the majority on bounty rooms. Their gold lead will continue to be very stable here at this 4k advantage. Look at the creeps. Two centaurs, two ogre frost mages. That extra armor and the slow coming from it is going to be super efficient against the troll and slark. And Yap has been involved in the 10 out of 12 kills. Zero dead so far. Well, that's going to be the first one, it seems, unless Puppy drops the ult. Crushes off the mark. He doesn't quite get close enough. There's actually a bit of a top four to try and get much of a man in position to fight. We are looking towards the kill, but the false promise will save the Absol. Well, the courier died. That is a full drum and the clumsy net on Slark. Clumsy net on Slark is uh, extremely efficient because you can play the side lane and have a uh, something to stop the TP with. Straight into Roche Pit. Slaughter ulti plus that uh, fresh dead so Correct. He's a little bit out of a help outside of it. And with the Centaur there, Matthew can't commit after Dark Pack 10. Secret know exactly what's going on, but what can they do about it? Roche had already down to half HP. Secret's got to contest this gun. Matthew really drops. Matthew being forced back. They're trying to get their Shadow Dance out of him early, so he doesn't have it for the potential steal. He won't need to use it. Heals up from Puppy. Keep him safe. As Matthew's just going to try and work for the timing. He's looking to get in at the exact time needed. Nigma will step back. They don't want to bring Roche close to the point where Secret could get a potential steal off. They'll smoke up and look to try and get a kill before returning. Huge wave approaching on the bottom lane, Zai. but you can't really leave. He steps a little too close. He's requested there. That's all that's needed to take out Zyl. He'll be your stuff. Search does not save him at this point of the game. They're a man down. And that Time to back off. Yeah, there's Get no back. way they fight here. No Oracle ulti, no Dark Fear Wall. Some of you could uh, farm that uh, bottom lane. A lot of uh, XP and gold. Are Everything continuing to go to plan for Nigma. This style of play that they've been very successful with. People wondered if it would be enough to cut it against Team Secret. And they're showing us here for for effectively the, the third time. Sure, they didn't win game one, but this early game that they play seems very strong against the style that Secret tries to bring. Oh, nice positioning. 
the Yorks will be removed immediately. GH is trying to head across to help out. The Lynx there, so Matthew has to split. Pounces away. Puppy will be left. It was a tough build. Kill to get. Chen comes close, uses the mech, uh, also had Hand of God ready. There's no way you burst it down. Cut the waves. That's the plan right now for Team Secret because they can't take this fight. Bring it over towards mid. We are, of course, with that ample catch, ready to start things off. Secret. They've constantly got to keep at least one support by Matuma Man's side. And any sort of death on this lock right now will be incredibly painful. They are buying time. You see Nisha, his recovery is certainly there. He's Radiant just about spot. caught up to the farm of Weeha. Mid lane play, attempts to be made, but both the top back and about to work either. them. Matthew can still dive in, there's the chance for the static link to come off. They're trying Radiant to split and he's looking to get immediately back in there, but he's too deep. Or is he? Matsu. Right Wait. now, they're just trying to Dyer's delay push, uh, force any kind of rotation from Nigma to cancel that push coming on the tier 3 towers, and they stopped him. Radiance bottom Coming back in towards the mid lane, Matthew. Gotta play careful. Dark packs in a jump, gets him out of the pit. An itemization. Diffusal straight into the Agonims. An excellent item on Slark, and particularly so when you're playing against Razor. He wants to be able to go in and out. To so Oracle ulti can be used on a different target. Troll still split pushing on a top lane. I want to see the item on uh, Troll. Did he actually decide to go for that? Uh... No. no. Yeah, he, he went for the... the farming item. Yeah. I mean, you're right. It going, if he did go for sort of Shadow Blade Silver Rage, that would have been incredibly all in from Nisha. And the, certainly you're playing against the Lardar, so yeah. they will have the vision on it. They put down the second floor, so your assassination will be not going to be that effective. He might still swap back to, to that after he gets like a beat. And we do, you know, continue to see, you know, if this game does slow down to in any sort of way, Nisha's farm, it is going to overtake. We may find a perfect setup onto him, though. They've headed over to this half of the map where Nisha has been getting away with quite a lot for quite some time. The link's there onto Nisha. See the wraparound from the squad, trying to get on top of the support. Matsu's been separated from the squad, pounces down and TP's out. He'll make it away, but Puppy yaps on Nisha. They're still caught in the fight. Chase back, jump forward, Yapsil finds the combo with the burst heals there. And Miracle could now turn onto Nisha. False promise from Puppy will save him, but Puppy, he'll lose his life for this. The GH bashes him up. Nisha is able to get the TP out in time. They only got... Oh! oh! Well, it wasn't enough here in the fountain. There's a lot of damage before that. I thought he was going to survive. Yeah, maybe he could have invested in a salve and got it going. I felt like it... it and I salve was very fire. Yeah. Just to be sure that you're not dying. Radiant's middle tower. Dead in the fountain. Nigma. They'll look to get back on to taking these tier two towers with the troll getting gone for 30 seconds. Radiant's middle 20 minutes in, they're ready to go high ground. Radiant's here we have it once more. They've set up perfectly to push on. And Secret, what have they got ready to defend? Yamsho attempts with a jump in, but he instantly gets rooted. They try and get him back to safety. A four star will split him from Nigma. He'll live for the tier three tower. Nearly taken out. Fortification buys it a little bit of time, but Nigma, they're not going anywhere. GH steps in for a cheeky slap on his eye. With the tier threes down, Nigma onto the barracks for 21 minutes in. Nish is back in the game. How can they hold? Send out the axes, Miracle, just rage, pops, he stands tall, he's still got that Aegis, so nothing to worry about as Nigma. they claim the first melee racks 21 minutes in, it's all going to plan once again for them in game four. They got what they came for, melee racks is uh, Aegis still up and running for a minute I, I believe, and the uh, full BKB on Razor, but once again they don't have an ability that uh, goes uh, through magic immunity. All pieces coming together for Nigma. Mech on Chen, pipe to mitigate uh, any kind of uh, magical damage so Tiny's combo will not be as efficient. He does not have a clear target in this game. And with the stages, Nigma could just get so much done right. I mean, is there anything you feel that they're scared of? You know, that would stop them from going the high ground again. They, it feels like secret. They, they're just not prepared. They're not ready at they're this They're not stage. ready yet. They can try to backstab, uh, take out the, the Chen. First, so any kind of a uh, healing uh, is used just to keep himself alive. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. They weren't able to hold mid. Can 
he could do anything to put a stop to this, this speed that Nygma's playing at. Matsu is looking to try and get in the backline. Capsule jumps in, looking to combo down Kuro. Matsu's on target. But the Ogre, the Ogre off Frost Armor is keeping Kuro tanky. Shadow Dust is the committed Earth. Matsu is going to take the chase. 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 Matsu is going to